Greetings, Pod fans. It's day two of Pod Vida. Pod videos himself every day in April. And today, I've got a story from a little while ago. But first, yesterday I made a joke about the fact that I was changing this into a fitness channel, and since this story takes place in a gym, I really want you to know that... No, that was a joke. I'm not a fitness man now. Alright, so I head to the gym, I find a locker, and I change into my sweet hooded tank top and shorts. Because long pants and sleeved hoodies make me sweat a heck a ton. Then I head over to the water fountain thing to fill up my bottle and make sure that I stay hydrated. And this water fountain thing is like a big cuboid coming out of the floor with near the top there's like a cuboid cut out of it where you put in your, your bottle and you push a button and then the water comes out of the top. Does that make any sense? Probably not, but here's a picture. But like, more cuboidy and more stainless steely. So I walk up to it and see an unattended two liter bottle which definitely did not fit in the space between the bottom and the top thing, so it was precariously like, just wedged right in there. So I just moved away from that one to the other side where there's another, another little tap and just popped in my perfectly sized bottle. But this unattended bottle was getting very close to full and that was hitting me with an old worrisome. Luckily, the owner of the bottle actually noticed, he walked over and he turned off the tap. Please note my use of the air quotes as this will become relevant in about five seconds. This dude goes to grab it out of its precarious position, it falls a little bit, but he manages to catch it before it actually falls and spills anywhere. Unfortunately, during the process of this, it does hit my bottle a little bit, which causes it to tip and soak my shorts with water, leaving me standing there soaked and confused. So I look at him, he looks at me, I look at my shorts, and this goes on for a few seconds where I have no idea what to do. As a side note, two men standing in a locker room staring at each other due to a wet crotch is usually the point that I stop reading the fanfiction. But then the guy apologizes and he offers me a pair of shorts, which usually I would say no, but I accepted because I really wanted to work out. So the guy takes off the shorts he's wearing, gives them to me, and then gets another pair out of his bag. It's a bit strange. But I change into them and I go and I do my workout thing. Halfway through this though, I realize that I have no idea what the guy looks like because I'm really bad at faces. So returning the shorts that I'm now wearing is going to be pretty damn tough. This was maybe a month ago now and I still have these. The worst thing is though that because I have no idea what he looks like, it's possible that he's seen me in the gym and thinks I'm ignoring him because I wanted to steal his pants. However, I still maintain that I'm not the only one at fault here, because if you really wanted them back, you should have just had a more recognizable face. Idiot. On the off chance that the owner of them is actually watching this, hi, I'd like to give you back your shorts. I'm just bad at knowing what people look like after seeing them once. That's about all from the story. I'll update you if I ever get the shorts back to the man, but at this point it's looking like it's not gonna happen. Oh, and um, next week is Kaizoku Khan, the anime convention I mentioned in yesterday's video. And because it falls in April, I'm gonna have to make a video every single day. And due to past failures, it would really help if I knew what I wanted to record over the weekend. So if you have any ideas of stuff that I could record at the convention, it would really help and, you know, it would actually give me a direction instead of just taking it out and going, I'm over here now, oh no, all the nerds are looking at me. So, please, down there, ideas, hit me up, fam. Uh, too old for that. Alright, though, that is all for your second day. Don't know why I said it like that, but meh. tomorrow there will be another video where you get to see this most interesting face, and that's when I'll talk to you. So, um, slow. Monster energy for when you need to be excited, but you're not excited and you're tired.